Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my first vlog of the year. Actually, that's kind of a lie because I did upload a vlog very recently, um, but I filmed that towards the end of the year. It's a road trip my boyfriend and I went on and we stayed in this really cute cabin. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free. I'll link that below. Happy New Year, you guys. I'm going to do a little vlog just at home today. I made a vision board last night and I shared it on Instagram and some of you wanted to know how I made it and all that stuff. So I wanted to show you guys and talk about my goals and kind of my thoughts about this new year and i also want to do a little try on haul slash workout outfits idea segment for you guys and thank you fabletics for sponsoring this video i know a lot of your guys's new year's resolutions and goals might revolve around fitness and lifestyle and i do truly believe when you look good you feel good personally when i have something cute on at the gym I feel better, I feel motivated to go to the gym in the first place or go out on a run or whatever it may be. So here are some really cute pieces I'm about to show you. All right, so the first look is what I'm already wearing. I'm obsessed with this set, you guys. This top is definitely one of my favorites. It has that kind of brassiere look and then it matches really, really well with these bottoms that have lines kind of all throughout. Um, the legs which contour and accentuate uh, the curves of your body, which I think is so complimentary. And then the color, of course, is gorgeous. Wow, Jasper. Out of all places to scoot, right in front of the mirror. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So this next set I actually posted on my Instagram recently and I love how it's very simple and neutral but it's all in the back. I love, love the little crisscross um, action going on especially around this area because it really does accentuate your waistline and just is super flattering. And then both sides of the sports bra also have the same um, kind of crisscross detailing what I love about Fabletics pieces especially the leggings is you don't have the problem of like seeing your underwear the fabric is thin enough so it's comfortable but thick enough so it isn't like see-through all right so there is that set all right next set is a little black on black ensemble I tend to gravitate towards neutral colors, especially black, because when I work out, I might wear a set like this, but then want to be able to just throw on a jacket or a top or whatever to continue on with the rest of my day or run errands while I'm still out. And it's nice to have a couple of different black leggings to choose from. So this is definitely a pair that I'll be wearing a lot. Um, but th what makes this unique is the little crisscross action in the lower part of the leg on both sides. And then this top has a little kind of like corset feel. Once again, that brassiere style with the cups and a little embellishment. And then the middle looks like this. And the straps are adjustable and they're nice and thick. So it keeps everything together and is very comfortable on. And I know that this specific pair of legging comes in different colors. So if you want to try out uh, this certain style start out with maybe black to see how you feel if you like it and then you can get like different colors because you really can't go wrong with black in my opinion and if any of these leggings happen to spark your interest and you want to try them out when you sign up as a vip which is super super easy to do you actually get a great deal which is two for 24 leggings so two pairs of leggings for 24 dollars if you're interested um, just keep that in mind as I'm showing you these different styles. If there's a pair that speaks out to you, or maybe two pairs that speak out to you, um, feel free to check out the description box. I'll include a link for you to take advantage of that really awesome deal. But yeah, so there is this look. Alright, so this is the next look. I have been loving, 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 loving these leggings. I'm obsessed with the color. And then once again, the little cinching of the back area is much appreciated. And then I just paired up with this black top. And this specific style, 
I'm not wearing a sports bra underneath, so it is a little thinner, which is nice because it's breathable. But if you're worried about nipple action going on, just pair it up with a sports bra. Um, but it is super stretchy and it's nice and thin, but still adds that layer if you want a long sleeve to add to your workout outfit. And then the back has this elax elastic band right here and it crisscrosses in the front. Um, and I've seen this style in tank tops and this is actually the first time I've had a long sleeve version of this. So I'm really excited to wear it. Um, and this is how I styled it. All right, next look is this cobalt blue number. And uh, this is the top I was talking about in the last look except the tank top version. This is the matching bottoms for this top. I love how there are these pockets. It's actually multi-layered, so if you want to put something on the inside pocket, there's an outside one that goes really deep considering how rarely you get pockets, let alone deep pockets. So it's made to fit your phone. I mean, my whole hand fits in here and then some. Um, and then the one on the inside is even larger. And you have that also on this side, so I mean, you're good to go. I love that little touch because, especially when you're working out, I don't like carrying my purse. Um, so I just throw in my phone, my credit card ID or whatever, my little wallet and um, my keys, and then I'm good to go. All right, this is the next look, and it is a little different. This is a lounge pant, which honestly is what I find myself wearing a lot are sweatpants and lounge pants and leggings so i wanted to share this particular pair because i've been obsessed they're so just like loose and comfy <laughs> just gotta <laughs> but the inside is a really soft fleece which i really really like and then the outside um looks like this i love how just loose fitting it is it cinches at the waist with a tie waistband and then I just pair it up with like a sports bra or, or a t-shirt even if I want to really just scrub it out and I pair it up with this black sports bra which is what I was wearing underneath the top of my last look and the back is super super cute it looks like this very very simple and then last but definitely not least is this sports bra I featured on my Instagram story and I am just obsessed with this color, the fit, this halter top is just so cute. And once again paired them up with these comfy lounge pants. But yeah, I hope you guys like these looks I put together. All right, so that is it for the outfits I wanted to show you. Um, but I wanted to talk about my vision board. I feel like I'm about to do like a poster board, try poster fold thing presentation like in school right now. So this is my project. Oh, I can't even see it. So moving on, um, I made this vision board yesterday. I've actually never made a vision board. All right, I had to put the exposure a little bit down. So I am dark, but you'll be able to see my board. Basically what I did to make it is I got a poster board from Target. This is one of three, it comes in like a pack of three and it's like less than 10 bucks. Um, and then I just used glue and printed out a bunch of stuff from like Pinterest and some magazine pages that I found from this like exploration magazine at Target and then some stickers I had laying around, and then I added like glitter to paper and cut it out and just like added little pieces just to make it aesthetically pleasing. Um, but otherwise, everything's just printed off of Pinterest. But I wanted to include little mantras that I think will help me throughout the year to remind myself as far as my own like mental health and just what I want my my mind to be focused on. There's this one quote that I keep finding myself thinking about and that is you spend a lot of time in your mind to make it a nice place to be in. So I really want to try to focus on the good because when you do, the good gets better. And then this is 
Um, it says, I am grateful for everything I have, everything I know, and everything I am. It's just once again, just being grateful, focusing on the things that I am, that I am proud of, and that I've done, and what I'm capable of doing. Um, and then this saying, or this word is, Eunoia, which is Greek for a pure and well-balanced mind, a good spirit, or beautiful thinking. Once again, just mind, soul, spirit, just keeping it all aligned and in check. This past year, I opened up a lot about my own mental health and something that I've been struggling with. And I had a really, really hard time and I took a step back from a lot of things that made me happy in order to try to figure out what I needed to do. And I feel like the past two months specifically, I have done a lot better. I've done, I feel like my old self again almost. And I don't want to lose track of that because I want to hold myself accountable and continue that same uh, mindset of getting shit done and focusing on the good and remembering what I'm capable of and what I want to do. And a lot of this stuff is like nature based because me personally, I find that I'm happiest when I'm in nature, whether it's at the beach or in a forest. And like this reminds me of Santa Cruz, which is one of my favorite places around here, the Bay Area. And then also the Pacific Northwest, like this is very typical of what it looks like with the trees and reminding myself like that is home. And um, I really kind of took for granted how beautiful that place was. So, um, this is not like my formal announcement. I'll talk about it more, but I am moving back to Washington in actually just a few months. So I have kind of my little piece of enjoying California because you're living here now, but also looking forward to where you will be living in the near future, which I'm like super, super excited for. And then as far as like home decor, you guys know I'm huge on home decor. It honestly is something I'm really, really, really passionate about when I like the things I'm most passionate about in my life. I find a lot of happiness in, in, in completing like home decor projects and researching different inspirations and looking for different inspirations. But so I have a picture of a living room and a closet because I am moving back to Washington, back to my house. And I never really got to settle down in the house at all and make it my own. So I wanted to put that on here because it's something that I know I will look forward to a lot and I'm already planning for. And one goal of mine is to create like a closet room. I feel like when I am organized in the space I am is aesthetically pleasing. I know that's like corny, but really I tend to be more creative and more motivated to do things like on YouTube and in life in general. Um, so it keeps me busy. It keeps my mind going. It keeps me creative and it feels good when you're done with it. Whether I'm in nature, whether I'm in a space that I created to be my own, those are things I wanted to focus on. Also, I wanted to cook more and bake more and just like uh, spend a lot more time in the kitchen this next year. Once again, creativity. Also, I like being able to cook for people. It's something that makes me happy and I think that I really enjoy it but haven't really given enough time and effort into getting better at so that's something I want to do and then also putting more time into how I look I feel like once again when you look good you feel good and one thing I've neglected a lot this past year is my hair <laughs> I just have been putting it into buns like all the time so this is like kind of that um goal of trying to uh try more in how I look and when I go out wear outfits that make me feel good, do my hair in different ways, challenge myself to reach out of my comfort zone in that and also reflect that in my videos so I can share with you guys different hairstyles or looks or whatever it may be that I like. Um, and I know it's like superficial, like, oh, I want to look better, but I have my own body. This is the only body I'm ever going to have and I want to take care of it. I want it to look good. And and no mistakes happy accidents once again um that idea but obviously that's bob ross's thing and that is touching back on how i want to do art or more art and i did a bunch of bob ross paintings towards like the beginning to half part of last year and then i kind of stopped painting and i really miss doing that so that's kind of like that reminder to also start painting more different styles um, i'm really comfortable painting bob ross paintings and i want to kind of 
get better at that but also do different types of paintings and find my own style. And then this is a symbol of me and Brendan's relationship and it's something that has grown a lot and has been a very, very, very important part of my life the past three years. So I wanted to include that on my board as well. Wow, I really just did a whole presentation, but you get what I'm saying and it took me three hours, but it was more about the thoughts that went behind it and what I want to focus on this next year. And I put this in front of my toilet, actually. I'll show you where it is. It's important to kind of remember what it is that makes you happy and how you're doing things in your life to support that. Because in the end, it is your life and it is all up to you how you want to choose to live it. Yeah, that's just kind of how what I've been working on and what I've been thinking about. I just kind of let you in on my mind. Um, and I've been trying to do a lot of planning and each day I do kind of like a to-do to, to -do list, which I've always done, that keeps me on track because I get very distracted very easily. So that is kind of what I've been doing and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I want to do more videos that are more personal like this. So my camera just died, but I wanted to say bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Oh my gosh. So, someone yeah. just got home and... Wait, oh. <laughs> no. no, I like those. I know, but they're I put, bent. I put these in like vases and stuff, see? I know. Aw, thank you, baby. What did I do to deserve this? Be you. Be me? Yeah. Aw, oh, thank you, love. I love you. <laughs> Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. You're in the high five zone. <laughs> all right thanks for watching the video i hope you guys liked it don't forget to comment like and subscribe for more and see you next time bye